Jesus wept. John 11.35 This is all I could think of when I saw the Sora AI demonstration. Jesus wept. And I wept with him. So, I've just seen the Sora AI video demonstration, and they might as well could have shown a public execution, because this will execute any semblance of believability on the internet. Ghost videos, UFO videos, videos of politicians doing very questionable things cannot be trusted anymore. Also, this is the stuff that's public. That means the military has had access to this technology for much longer, and it has probably already been used on the public. The question is what? What famous video could have actually turned out to be AI? Even if they never used it against civilians up until the publication of this video, what if they generated an AI video of Russian soldiers invading the US, declaring war on Russia and potentially ending the world as we know it? How will we be able to tell it apart? Sure, Sora AI is far from perfect. In fact, it's extremely janky at times with impossible movements and object transformations. But as I said, I believe there are people in this world that already have access to more advanced versions of this AI. Especially big corporations because they can afford to invest in these technologies and improve them thoroughly. How many actors will lose their jobs over this? How many artists and designers? This will be akin to the invention of the steam engine. And why in God's name are we replacing creative jobs, which AI is objectively terrible at, because it literally has no creativity. With the way it is programmed now, it cannot be creative only reuse assets from other artists and twist them into these horrifying soulless amalgamations. AI should be doing all of our worst jobs, like nuclear waste remover, underwater welder, accountant, parachute tester. It would also be more useful if it did jobs only AI can do, like insane pattern recognition and deep learning algorithms to learn the whale language. But no, while some jobs are delegated to AI, most of the commercially available AI systems are for not safe for work indulgence and art theft. Just because art is subjective doesn't mean any jumbled up series of pixels can be considered art. And if you were to ask me what good art is, I would just reply not AI art, anything but that. I feel like the general populace has not realized just how damaging and dangerous this new video AI will be. It's not only a cognito hazard, which is something that is damaging to know about, it's an info hazard, because of all the fake news or events it will generate. But judging by how AI models are trained, it might use your face. Yes, you heard me right. If you have ever posted your face on the internet, the database for Sora probably just stole it from you, because that's what all AI developers do, and your face can be used in NSFW content or other criminal videos. AI is the worst thing to happen to women and children since Jeffrey Epstein, and I'm fully serious. The sheer scale of these implications would instantly make me reconsider whether this technology should have ever been developed in the first place, but no. They somehow didn't see the obvious ethical problems that will 100% arise once the public gets access to it. They either didn't see it, or they are blatantly ignoring all the warning signs for the sake of evil? I'm struggling to conjure up any sort of motivation for this move. Surely AI developers aren't this mentally stunted that they couldn't foresee their technology being used for great evil, and what benefits do we get from Sora AI and AI generated videos in general? Entertainment? Mother We already make our own entertainment, we live in the age of entertainment. Every single person with internet access can make content that people will love or hate and there's so much of it that it's impossible to watch it all in one lifetime. This YouTube video that you're watching right now was entirely made by one person, me, and I didn't need AI for any part of it. Well, technically I did use the AI art to demonstrate what I mean, but you get the point. They might argue that they want to provide the tools for everyone to be able to make fantastical visuals for their creative endeavors and democratize art, but it's not going to do any of these things. We already have access to some AI-generated video tools, and they're almost always just used for soulless content farms that steal from already popular media. 99% of original AI content is also extremely low effort and repetitive, with zero learning nor entertainment value, so why would you want to introduce more tools that will just make people lazier? 
This is why AI developers should be required to take ethics classes, but judging by their complete disregard for human nature, they probably just want to see the world burn. Because it takes an astonishingly low amount of sick and twisted people in the world to use new innovations for evil. By the way AI was made, even the average person could accidentally do nefarious deeds due to the stolen databases they use. Imagine someone tries to generate a neat, and it just generates an image that looks almost exactly like you. Incredibly insulting on all levels. Also, you think this is something? This? This chicanery? It's gonna get worse! Because you know these Bangladeshi slash Indian tech support scammers? They will soon be able to use AI technology to not only imitate the voices of actual loved ones, but also their faces. So that the poor old grandmas and grandpas will genuinely believe it's their grandchild, when in reality, it's a dirty no-life scammer, who would probably scam his own grandma if it made them rich. People in positions of power could be imitated, somebody uses your face to generate you in a crime that you didn't commit, your favorite YouTuber's likeness can be used to promote scams and malware. Young girls could be lured into the worst places imaginable by criminals using Sora AI to generate a video of Harry Styles trying to adopt her. Oh my god, the children. Think about the children! How are we going to explain to them that videos cannot be trusted, and that even when celebrities invite them to places, they are not allowed to go? It's already hard enough to keep children safe on the internet, but this will make things a million times worse. Or imagine a teenager who thinks they're talking to someone their age, when in reality, it's a predator using AI-generated footage of a teenager to talk to them. The elderly generation will definitely lose all their money, dog. If we can't explain to them how an iPhone works or what the internet is, how do we explain to them how AI-generated videos and voices work? This is especially terrible with people who have Alzheimer's or other degenerative brain diseases, because they just forget to check whether it's an AI or not, and just trust the person because of their face and voice. AI-generated videos will make dating even more impossible. Once again, this is a genuine nightmare world for men and women alike. But especially women, because that cute guy you have been talking to on Tinder is actually a 46-year-old man named Vasily Mjaukovic, who has the strength to rip a car door off of its hinges. Men will never be able to find the real date because of the influx of AI-generated catfishes that will try to scam them for all of their money. AI-generated corn will also just completely ruin men mentally and give them absolutely abhorrent kinks like aerosexuals, and why should they ever seek the touch of a woman if they can just watch She-Hulk x Belle Delphine AI generated kissing compilation? It's already super duper terrible with the AI girlfriend situation, which I already made a video about and you should totally check it out, but now AI girlfriends will have realistic human faces that are as beautiful as the man desires and just the complete customization of the AI girlfriend will probably distract men from their loneliness for far longer than just watching corn and getting addicted. These are all just further developments of things that were already happening, but at least videos were safe. That was the last bastion that AI could not conquer. When you watch a YouTube video with a person in it, you could tell it's real, but soon you might not be able to tell so easily. Why bother making intricate videos with carefully thought out scripts and editing when a completely autonomous video can get millions of views and make so much money? Why would you ever bother to be an artist? I just cannot see how AI generated videos will benefit society in any way. Maybe some funny memes about the president's eating spaghetti with Will Smith, but memes are the only acceptable use for AI. The loss of credibility in the internet will set us back for years. How could you ever trust anything if it could just be AI generated? We will probably develop counter AI tools to detect AI videos, but the average person is not going to bother using tools like this. The average person is too lazy to click on a link to fact check an article. I could call myself the West Cumlington Shire bi-weekly post and make an article about how eating cheese in liquid form through a straw increases your brain power and prowess in bed by 10% and nobody would check my sources. People tend to believe what they see, and if they can't trust their eyes anymore, they won't trust anything. You could argue that I'm just over exaggerating and that it will probably just be another step in the evolution of mankind. 
We have always invented new technologies that we weren't equipped to handle, and look where it got us. Only two world wars with millions of casualties and the invention of the nuclear bomb, something that could potentially end all of humanity. This AI revolution is not like the invention of the steam engine, where a bunch of workers lost their jobs due to new machines and got really mad until they now had to operate these machines, which was incredibly deadly and just terrible for your well-being all around. This isn't even like the invention of the nuclear reactor, where power plants could just potentially blow up and poison the water supplies and the surrounding area around the explosion for 100 years. No. The AI revolution is more malicious, in my opinion, because it not only replaces human labor, but also human interactions and functions. It could replace not just your job, which you kind of hate already, so it's not that big of a deal, no. Your desire for connection, for love, for entertainment, for joy. All of it could be replaced by AI, and what are we left with? An honest question that I just keep screaming at the wall every day until the day of reckoning arrives. What are we left with? What was this all for? Our progress was meant to serve us, to benefit us. It wasn't supposed to make us obsolete. It wasn't supposed to replace us. It was supposed to help. But the only thing it will do in the end is to help us lose our sense of reality. Also, our entire economy is based on the idea that we create value through labor, which is then represented by a currency that is backed by constant human labor. But if a huge amount of people lose their jobs or they can't work anymore due to AI, how is our economy supposed to function? If no one is earning money from their jobs, no one can spend money and with no earnings and no spending, the economy just kind of collapses? I mean seriously, what happens to it? The West is a meritocracy in theory, so it's not just our currencies that are backed by our labor, but also our sense of self-worth. To be successful in life, you need to make lots of money and have a prestigious occupation or position, but if nobody's making any money, are they all just poor losers now? If we don't switch to some sort of socialism to keep the people from starving due to the AI revolution, don't you think this might cause civil unrest? Dare I say, an uprising of sorts? Can a neoliberalist capitalist society even function without human labor? As it is right now? No, holy crap, this whole thing hinges on people being able to work to get money. That was the whole point. Everything up until now was made by some sort of human labor or machinery that needed human intelligence to function. We have no idea what it's like to live in a society in which AI is the main labor force. I'm not saying that it will instantly be bad and horrible, but what I am saying is that we probably should test it thoroughly beforehand instead of just kind of raw-dogging the whole thing and making AI as intelligent as we can. Humans with AI technology are just chimps with machine guns. We're playing with people's livelihoods here, their only sources of income, their ability to provide for their family. Have they not considered that AI-generated videos, scripts and images would ruin some poor person's life? Have they not learned from the writer's strike that ChatGPT cannot replace traditional writers and that AI entertainment usually has a very poor reception? I mean, for example, look at the backlash Disney got for using an allegedly AI-generated promotional image for the Loki show. I also have strong reasons to believe that the newest Disney film, Wish, had AI integrated in its writing. That film ended up being terrible. So who is this for? Who is benefiting from this? Some secret cabal of billionaires and Silicon Valley demons? Probably. But let's assume that AI developers somehow come to their senses and use AI to remove the need for human labor altogether. What now? We have zero systems in place for such a major change in society, and what would the people do if they didn't need to work anymore? I believe that while people can be pretty lazy, they still want to constantly work, especially in a meritocracy to avoid feelings of worthlessness, so maybe people would start to just do what they love and work for their own goals and not for monetary gain. This is actually a good thing for once. AI doing our crappy jobs means we can all try to be Minecraft Let's Players, but how would money work in such a society? I would assume there would be some sort of universal basic income if AI just replaced our jobs, so a lot of people would be equal, but whatever profession allows the most tips will probably be the most popular one. 
people who like to make money will always find new ways to make money, and my guess is that the average person would just work once on a weekday to get some extra money and then spend said extra money on food. But this would be more long term. I think in the short term, if AI started to replace jobs really fast, there would be a revolt, maybe even a full-blown revolution, to limit AI and to make it more ethical. To be honest, most people's brains are so fried nowadays, they don't even have the energy to stand up real fast, let alone start a whole revolution. But screw it, society's in such a bad spot right now, even the limited capabilities of artificial intelligence could improve my life. If the labor revolution happens, I'm all for it. If we become almost communist, I'd be fine with it too. The only thing I'll still not accept, even if everyone will try to normalize them, is AI girlfriends. Come on, we've survived tens of thousands of years just to die to this? Attractive pixels with clever bot behind the avatar? Please, I'm begging you to get a girlfriend, or a boyfriend, for the sake of humanity, or else Idris Elba will have his identity stolen and exploited, just so he could be your very own Idris Elba trained AI boyfriend. Who knows, there's always a chance that we've made some huge mistake that renders almost all of AI useless, for example, you totally shouldn't feed AI BS information, because if all of its inputs for information are garbage, then the output is also going to be garbage. And no, I'm not training my ChatGPT AI to believe that 1 plus 1 is 3, I'm just asking it what 1 plus 1 is and then I put the silly emoticon face at the end, equals 3. Thank you so much for watching my video to the end, I hope you enjoyed it even though it was a bit depressing. But hey, this is reality, so it is what it is. Maybe AI generated videos won't change anything and I am just entirely wrong. Everything's possible. So let's look at the bright side of life because this could all disappear in an instant. My discord server is linked in the description below if you want to join it and discuss some very not revolutionary thinking. And bye bye.